Social isolation and loneliness are harmful to individuals and costly to society. Older people from minoritised ethnic groups are more vulnerable due to racism, migration and socio-economic inequalities. But little is known about their experiences of loneliness and isolation or how to reduce it. A four-phased mixed method study addressed this gap. Survey data suggested that older people from minoritised ethnic groups had smaller friendship networks. In-depth interviews highlighted the importance of community groups for reducing loneliness. The review found that the most effective community-based group interventions adopted cognitive approaches, recruited those with shared characteristics and provided opportunities to bond. Analysis of in-depth interviews showed older minoritised people's social participation preferences. Based on these preferences, the following principles for social interventions were generated. Create opportunities for the kinds of social interaction desired. Avoid negative labels. Recruit based on shared interests and characteristics. Utilise existing groups. Support current activities and adapt to changing needs. Consider financial capabilities. These principles were compared with what the review found actually happens. For community-based group interventions to be suitable for older people from minoritised ethnic groups, they must be tailored to aspects of their identities that they value and provide opportunities to connect based on these identities.